Hello again and welcome back. She waits for you, even now. So last time we failed miserably, all because of Take rats. Take arms against the Queen of Skulls. Actually, I probably should have just tried to death. work it a little better. Like that was the problem. I tr I should have tried to work it. Okay, so we're gonna try to add in all of these cards that we can. Let's go looking. Um, the treasure chest screwed us last time. Let's remove it. The apprentice will remove it. We'll keep the ratmen in because they're food and because they're better things we can remove. Um, I'm removing the devil's wager. Yeah. Um. Devil's Choice is still pretty good. It's an easy enough card to get, and it usually gives you something out of it. Um, Battle of Buffalo would be a nice one to drop. Um, hell, we'll just take the Dead King. And yeah. We don't really have a lot of cards at the moment. So. Let's go ahead and try to beat the Queen of Skulls. At their heart, all games are about power. Made in early. Not? We're gonna the take a blessing. Of power. The retaining of power, okay, and this is, most that's importantly, really good. It gives us a second chance on of choice cards, and there are a lot of these in the, at least in this part. There's a lot of these in general. In this game. Okay, Undead Bane's a pretty good weapon. Are you sure that's the right approach? Dome. We play for a token now. <sighs> Lizard Dome's actually a really good card to get this early. If I take a little bit of damage, it's not a big deal. metal. Ugh. But yeah, usually gives a lot of food, a lot of gold. More gold for you, and with it, more problems. And we can try for this token. Okay, I was way off. Yes. Useful. That can be helpful. But mostly I got the token out of the way. Man, I'm getting some really good cards early on. Okay, some 
gold spray. Even more gold. And I'm sure you agree. Armor for of that. cold will slow down my enemies. It is light, but if the enemies can't catch me, they're not gonna hit me. That's my thinking, it's not very Do you understand what it is we do now? Or did I rush you through the rules, pushing you into the play before you were prepared? Ahead, Dang it, I should have changed out the weapons. Uh, okay. Items, Spirit Walk. We need this actually. It is definitely What will you do with that? Curse. What does that do? Corrupt Tiller, so whenever I'm killed, I'm going to lose gold. Well, if I'm going to lose gold when I'm healing. Let's spend a lot of gold real quick. Was there anything here else that was nice? The heal would, wouldn't be bad, but isn't worth it. The reason I took the spirit walk is because um, this skeleton lady uh, the cards that are in her deck are these octopus whatever Let's see if I can actually I'm not going to get one here but cannot stay oh, away eh? that. okay before I start babbling there are these weird, like, tentacle things that will try to grab you. And in hope, and using Spirit Walk, I can get through them. Another token brings you closer to your goals. Awesome. And you'll notice I actually just used up my, uh, helping hand. Uh, blessing. The battlefield of honor. Or at least a close approximation. Choose wisely. I'll take the mages. Mages are very strong, but easy to deal with. As I was saying, as you can see, like, I used my healing there, so I actually didn't take any damage from the vampire, which is really nice. <laughs> Now my attack has little effect on them due to Well, due to the fact that they're living, but... Why can't you bring me up against undead? I have a sword that says it is great against undead. Even some undead! Let's see here, they got two range. One nice thing about these kind of smaller-ish arenas and the rats is being able to kick them out of the arena is a great way to avoid taking damage. It doesn't always work, but if you can get them outside of the arena instead of just sitting there in the middle of the arena, it's a great thing. Seriously? Our 
awkwardly enough, this sword actually has one of the highest attacks of any of the weapons in the game, at least in my decks. With 30, the only ones that I've, I've welded that are better would be the 32 Fire Mace and the... Freaking... What would it be? Well, the 40 Mace I did, or a Hammer I just had. But yes, this is why I was talking about the Dark Dweller. With the artifact that I have, I can actually walk through it. Making this artifact literally invaluable. So we're gonna give him... We'll give him food and see what he gives us. And we gave him some food, he gave us some food. Works for me. I'm sure you're grateful for that. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. Are you sure? Really? If the Ratman hunting party is going to keep giving me uh, high, like, face, a face card for at each time, I'm seriously going to be really even for a chance at food. chance at food, fighting a face card is not like the occasional chance for a face card, but if it's like gonna be a definite thing, screw that. Okay, what do we got here? Mage's Gloves and War Cry. Those are nice. The Mage's Gloves are actually really neat little things to have. Every time you kill somebody, they kind of pop out an explosion. Again, a token is at okay. stake. This isn't quite the best time to have this, but... I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. It's kind of one of those, it's almost you never a bad the secrets time of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Okay, let's follow the success. A choice. Select your desire. No. I was way off. Yeah. What? No. Yes. I have no clue where the fuck that card went. Pleasant. That isn't like that is a 
horrible outcome. Like, that could just straight up kill me. At least I got the token, I can actually now remove that. Or that's if that even card even still exists. Now you have reached a point from which the path ahead is unclear. What will be your solution? Okay, some food's nice. I am at half HP. I would love a way to kind of turn that around. Think about the way we play this game. You continue to die, yet we reset the board each time. One has to wonder how it is possible no. to truly lose. Um... Yeah. If I wanted to have lost 50 HP, forward, I would have loved to have gone down there and tried for to the get truth. Stuff, Do you hear her wailing, even now? Wimsy and Caprice. The domains of the old gods. Were they always thus? Or has age corrupted their natures? Very nice indeed. Now the loan kicks off. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Hoard your gold and learn nothing in the process. Yeah, screw it. We can take them by surprise. Success, I could have taken those mages out of the fight. What the hell? Wouldn't let me reflect those. I think I added that one because of, I thought it'd be easy. Well, wasn't a bad reward. Right now. 
When I dreamed long ago, the my best dreams cards, but... were of flight. It is yours. You can take it. I did warn you, I think, about the consequences of magical forces unleashed. You are braver than I if you're willing wow, to get involved in nice. a marital dispute. Poor Jack. His place is so much oh, lower than ours. He merely repeats the same motions over and over, incapable of change. I've actually never seen that before. Luckily, we won't have to. Face death and learn your fate. There's another, that one I also could have threatened him and beat his ass, but... Or actually there was a chance even if I... Or if I threatened him I wouldn't have to beat his ass, but... I don't know, he's a little scary. Okay, now if I understand this one right... It's kind of one of the ones that never really mattered, but if I understand this right, her little thing next to her... Summon more skeletons. And she has a blunderbuss, not just a rifle, so... Getting her to drop is kind of a nice thing. Okay, make sure I got everything. Never want to jump into a trap expecting to win and then go, oh shit. And that's what happens when you when have an undead done. bane against When even a, a creature skeleton. as haunting as the Queen of Skulls perishes, we know the game is almost done. The kings are gathering now. It's actually probably better than if I actually had that hammer from last time. Okay. Now for rescuing all the prisoners from the Lizardmen, I get the Wandering Minstrels. Nice card, half the time. Actually, it's usually a nice card. They're not bad to have around. For winning this Blood Auction, I got the Ring of Reward and the third Blood Auction. For loaning the gold or loaning the gold to the merchant, I get the marketplace. Uh, looting the Valley of the Hill Giants. Oh, the card that had all the crushed people. I get Eye of the Storm and Plunderer's Cap. For discovering the tomb while in the desert, I get the Desert Cult. Um, for the altar, or for praising the altar, I get a demon trader. For riding with a giant eagle, I received cursed treasure. This is a actually kind of neat, but kind of horrible card at the same time. When I fell through the portal, I got the Royal Treasury. Again, one of those really neat, but also, oh my fucking god, is this horrible card. This one for the Royal Treasury, if you win it, you get a ton of stuff. Like a ton of, or a bunch of game cards. If you fail, it like puts your health at like 20. It just says have fun. Tavern Wager. I got that from helping the uh, woman find her husband who was drunk at the bar. And for winning uh, the, or for defeating the Skeleton Queen, 
I get the Queen of Plagues and the Dark Ritual. Which I think brings a Lich. I also get Arrow Cutter and Mortal Whimsy. Mortal Whimsy is actually a really interesting card, but we'll talk about that later. For now. One more round. You have earned it. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go, and have a nice day.